What's up, Legends? This week, I went card hunting at some of my local stores, and I went and checked out Target first. Now, most times, I'm actually looking for Pokemon cards to open here on the channel, but this time, something else caught my eye. They had the Topps Chrome Star Wars 2023 Blaster Boxes here. I've been really interested in opening up this set, so I went ahead and picked up one here. And shortly after, I also hit up Barnes & Noble. And now, Barnes & Noble does have a card section, but they keep it tucked away behind the counter. So they did actually have plenty of Pokemon card products, but nothing I was interested in picking up this time. But lo and behold, they also had the Star Wars Chrome 2023 boxes. So I picked up two more from there. So we got three in total that we're gonna be opening up today. Now these are basically the smaller retail boxes compared to the larger hobby boxes that you can get. Uh, so these are fairly new in stores. So keep an eye out at your local Target, Barnes and Noble, and even Walmart. I have seen top Star Wars products there. So I'm super excited to get into these with you guys, see what the hits are like like and hopefully we can pull something cool today. Now if it's your first time here, my name is Luke and if you like to collect shiny cardboard and chase nostalgia like I do, you're in the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below to come along the collecting journey with me. Let's go ahead and rip into our first box. All right, you can see on here, it says look for exclusive parallels two purple wave parallels guaranteed. I thought that that was very interesting. I don't know exactly what that means to be completely honest, but I guess we'll find out. I'm not sure how many packs come inside. I thought maybe four, but anyway, let's not waste any time. We'll be able to see in just a second. Okay, no, way more than four. Wow, wow, there's actually a lot in here. Wow, there's actually a lot of packs in here. I was not expecting that. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in total. Well, good deal. All right. Yeah, okay, so they got four cards in the pack. That's, you know, that's about the same as what Star Wars Galaxy was. So, yeah. I uh, personally, I'm not usually a huge fan of the non Galaxy products because these tend to feature more like. Just photos and stills from the movies. It's not as much what I'm into, but there are actually some cool parallels in here that I actually do uh, kind of like, which I'll show you probably when we see the first one, but let's get right into it. All right, starting off, we got Quinlan Voss, pretty cool character from The Clone Wars. He's also in this other book that I was reading. Okay, here's what the back looks like. Okay, and here we have one of the first cards that I was talking about, the Manga Madness. These are pretty sweet. I really like these, and they actually come in numbered parallels as well. So that's really what I will be chasing today, personally. But cool to get the uh, base refractor of that, or just the base parallel, I mean. Collect all 15 Manga Madness cards, so we will be after those. Ooh, nice. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Monikers, okay, the Negotiator. If I remember from seeing some other openings, I guess these kind of feature like a nickname of the character. So Obi-Wan Kenobi the Negotiator, I guess is what he's known as. And we also have Fennec Shand. Very cool. Mulan in Star Wars. I seriously am really surprised at how many packs come in this. I really thought it was only gonna be like four or six, something like that. We got 10. Isn't that like half of what a, uh, a hobby box would have? Doesn't a hobby box have like 20? You'll have to let me know in the comments below. I'm still learning about a lot of this stuff. We got Boss Nass, ugly looking guy there. Tala Durith, I feel like that's the, uh, the spy from Obi-Wan. Ooh, nice, we got a Grogu here, Grogu's Choice. Making him choose between the Beskar um, armor or the lightsaber. That'd be a tough one. We have Supreme Leader Snoke. Okay, and that is our fourth one. Let's keep it rolling, we got a lot of packs to go. Did say something about a purple wave refractor, so we gotta be looking out for those. Got Riva, one of the Inquisitors. Toradoza. Maz Kanata. 
Padme. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be collecting this set or doing a master set or anything like that, but I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. I'm a huge Star Wars fan myself and slowly getting into some of the cards. Here we go. We got C-3PO. Emperor Palpatine. Hunter from the Bad Batch. Salacious B. Crumb himself. And okay, we got our purple uh, wave like it was talking about. What is this? We have <laughs> Claude. Yeah, not exactly the one you want to see, but hey, I like the wave pattern on there. That's pretty nice. We'll go ahead and get a sleeve on him. So it is interesting these are specifically seated with those. So I wonder, do we have a chance to get anything else cool besides that? Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett. Tusken Warrior. Another Grogu card. The future site of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple. We also have Nico, And that's it for that pack. When I was out hunting, they also had the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, top set, too. I don't know as much about that one. Let me know in the comments below if that's a good one to pick up, or if I should just leave that on the shelf. Han Solo, old Han Solo. Jabba. Ezra Bridger. Chewbacca. I do you like that? That's pretty cool. Second sister. Second sister. We got Maul. No longer Darth Maul, just Maul. Got something here. Upside down, we got Finn. This is another one of the inserts, I believe. One of the monikers. So I guess Finn is his technically his nickname, because FN2187 is his actual given name. And we got Baru. I'll be right there, Aunt Baru. All right, we got the fifth brother who looks, uh, you know, a little different than he did in, in Rebels, but I guess we'll let it slide. Saul Guerrero. Trying to make him look young. Another Grogu insert. Mysterious Mandalorian of Tatooine. Peeking out from behind there. And we have Luthen Rael, Rael or whatever, from Andor. That was a really sweet show. If you guys haven't seen Andor yet, I highly recommend it. It's definitely different uh, for a Star Wars film, but it's uh, like it's kind of slow, but in a in a kind of a suspenseful way like they do a really good job building it up I feel like all right we got Captain Phasma Finn hey we got another manga madness this is really sweet got Luke swinging the lightsaber so this is kind of a new hope themed manga kind of the anime style hope we can get a a number of one of those today. It's a long shot, but you never know. Jin Urso. And we got our other wave parallel tech. That one's not horrible. I know people do enjoy a bad batch. I haven't I'm not caught up on it, but I did watch probably half of the first season. I guess I need to take other people's word for it and go check it out. Yeah, we ought to sleeve up our manga posters as well Han and Chewie in the cantina for that one all right we're on to our last pack from our first box still got quite a bit to go here but this is pretty cool I've enjoyed it so far Rose Tico Luke CGI face Luke Tuscan Chief and Han Solo young Han Solo all right, let's keep it rolling. Let's 
Starting off with Boba. Han Solo. Jabba. Harrison Dula. Ezra Bridger from Rebels. We'll be seeing him soon in Ahsoka. The new TV show coming out. Okay, we got a Manga Madness. That one is pretty cool. We got Han Frozen and Carbonite. You can see Leia looking sad back there and Chewie looking enraged. Yeah, these look really cool. Okay, we got a moniker. Uh, let's see, this one is called Buckethead. Okay. And a Mace Windu. Very nice. If you guys been watching the uh, the new uh, Secret Invasion show with Samuel L. Jackson, it's not too bad. I've been liking it. Second sister. Maul. Another Journey of Grogu card. Kidnapped by Toro Calican. Under there, we have BB-8. Oh, I am having fun with this so far. Let's move our hits up here so you can see them a little better. We'll get to that in a bit. All right. Fifth brother, Saul Guerrera, Captain Phasma, and Kylo Ren. Finn, Rose Tico, one of the worst characters of all time. Luke Skywalker, Echo. Hey, oh wow, that is a nice, that's a nice wave to get. We got Qui-Gon Jinn. That's nice. I didn't even check to see. Are these numbered? I don't, I guess they're not. Huh. So they're not numbered, but they have a really cool purple wave on them. All right. That's a pretty nice one, actually. Glad to see that they're not all just throwaway characters. I don't know. I feel like that, that was a good one. I don't know if you can... I don't know. I don't know if it's that common to get a, uh, a main character like that. So we have the Tuscan Chief, Migs Mayfeld, classic Bill Burr. We got another Journey of Grogu, facing the Rancor. Back when. Uh, Book of Boba Fett basically turned into the Mandalorian episode, whatever. And we got Grogu. Hey, we got R2. Looking kind of scrappy right there. So this is from... It says Resistance. I don't know. Is that from the show Resistance? Or... Yeah, I'm not sure. Jarek Yeager. Don't know anything about him. Kanan Jarrus. Cobb Vanth. Got just three more packs still from this box. Yeah, this is really cool, the fact that it comes with so many packs. I really just did not expect it. Yeah, usually Pokemon, when you spend $20, you get four packs. $5 a pack, usually. And maybe a promo card if you're lucky. We got Cal Kestis from the video game. <laughs> nice. Haja Estri. Definitely, uh, I think that was a funny inclusion in Obi-Wan from uh, Silicon Valley. Ooh, nice. We got R2, one of the monikers. So, of course, his name officially is R2-D2, but R2 is his uh, nickname. And we got some purple character here. We'll sleeve up R2. I feel like that's a, a cool one. Probably should be sleeving up all those inserts. We'll get to it later. We've only hit one purple wave from this box, so we should be expecting one more. Mon Mothma. Qui-Gon. Okay, so that was... So we got the parallel of that one, technically. Grogu. From Mandalorian. Mandalorian's new ship. 
and Sabine Wren, another character we'll be seeing shortly in the Ahsoka show. All right, let's get that last pack of magic from this box. We got Zori Bliss. Oh, I see our purple. Okay, we got a purple. I hope it's something good. Lando Calrissian. Smooth as always. Oh, nice. We also got another Manga Madness. We'll take a look at that after we find out what our purple is. Well, okay, never mind. We got one more under there. So, got Han and Chewie. That's pretty cool. BD1. And our purple wave is... Okay, Zori Bliss. We got the parallel of that one. Yeah, I can confidently say that I would probably do this again. I feel like for 20 bucks, it feels like it's worth the money. Um, maybe I'll sprinkle this in with a future Pokemon card opening if we can find another box while we're out hunting. All right, without further ado, let's get into our final box of Topps Chrome Star Wars 2023. Hunter to start. Boba Fett, Grogu in class, and Poe Dameron. All right, Tuscan Warrior, Han Solo, Jabba the Hutt, and Darth Jar Jar. Ezra Bridger, second sister, a lot of duplicates here. Here's one we haven't seen yet, a moniker for CT7567, Captain Rex. General Hux, upside down. We got Maul. Fifth brother. Grogo, Grogu, I mean. IG-11's new programming. Omega from Bad Batch. And we got our purple wave, General Hux. Kinda cool. Yeah, we haven't seen any autos so far. Obviously we're not guaranteed that. I wonder, can you get an auto at all in these blaster boxes? Let me know in the comments below if you know. I'm also wondering, can you get any of the other parallels? Or are you only going to get the purple waves? Ooh, that's a cool Manga Madness here. Featuring Boba Fett and the other bounty hunters. He IG something, IG-11 or something. Bosk and that guy back there, Zombie Man. I don't know what his name is. And the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. I think it's the first time we've seen this one, so it might be worth putting a sleeve on. We got Finn, Rose, Luke, and the Grand Inquisitor. Again, they really messed up the design for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why they made him look like this. Skin Chief, Migs Mayfield, another Grogu, oh this is a cool one, we got Ahmad Best in there, defending Grogu I believe, or maybe not, we have some of the Jedi in there, maybe it's not him, but uh, from the Grogu flashback, it was a pretty cool scene, alright, oh. Oh, and we got Darth Vader. It's a pretty cool looking one. With Hayden Christensen's face peeking through there. We got R2. Jarek. Ooh, okay, I forgot about these ones. Yeah, these are cool too. Uh, this is one of the, I think, uh, Return of the Jedi 30th anniversary something. I'll have to see what it says on the back after we unveil this one here. 
Gris Dritus. I don't know who that is. Okay, we got R2D2. So these are called. Um, yeah, it doesn't say an official name, but it has this stamp here. Oh, sorry, the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, not the 30th. They also have sort of like a religious art type feel to them. I like it. Hopefully we can get another one of those at some point here, but we only have two more packs left. Looks like we're still looking for our second purple from this box, and uh, I hope we can get another Mega Madness. Let's, let's find out if we can get anything else cool today. We have Kanan Jarrus, Cal Kestis. Ooh, not bad. One of the monikers we have Snips as Ahsoka, young Ahsoka. Under there we have Bucket. Oh, and I see our purple, I think. Yep, okay, and it is Omega. Okay, not too bad. All right. Well, I feel like our hits have been fairly consistent between these boxes. We have gotten two purples. Most of them we've gotten two manga inserts, but I'm actually kind of wondering if we, in this last box, we may have gotten this uh, Return of the Jedi 40th commemorative artwork instead of a manga poster. But you never know because we do have one last pack from this box. Let's see if we can get anything better. We are ending off today with Haja Estri. Mon Mothma, another Grogu insert, and DJ. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Here's just a recap of some of my favorite hits from today. Got some pretty cool inserts. Again, I just love the manga cards. I might be trying to collect those uh, in a numbered parallel. We'll see. I also got a bunch of these purple waves. So if you uh, did like the video, if you want to see me do more uh, openings like this, just let me know and I'm sure we can, can make that happen. Now, if you're also into top Star Wars cards, I think you may enjoy one of these videos here on screen. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel. Lastly, I wanna let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.